What's up my Pungios? Andy with Andy Vlogs. Sharing with you guys a tutorial here as the title suggests on how to use Zoom. So this is gonna be um, one in quite a few part series on how to use Zoom because it's crazy how many people have downloaded it. So this video is first gonna talk about how to use it on your computer. Then we're gonna have another video you know, up top if you guys don't mind checking out how to use it on your phone. And then there's gonna be more technical aspects of how to utilize Zoom. So what we're gonna be going over are you know, basic setup on how to create your account on Zoom and how to get started. It's pretty simple. Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to go to the Zoom website. Very, very simple. You just Google search Zoom and it's zoom.us and that's how you get in. So this is their main splash page. It, you can basically sign up for free. You can join a meeting, you can host a meeting. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to host a meeting. So first and foremost, you need to sign in. All right, once you're logged in, as you can see, my account shows right there, you can just go ahead and you can host a meeting by putting your cursor right here where it says host a meeting, video off, video on, screen share only. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, I like to do with video on, that way it, it gives you a hosted meeting with all the features that allow you to do pretty much whatever you want. So once you click that, it's gonna have you download a zoom.exe file. You're gonna just click on it and it's gonna open up its own little browser widget. All right, then it's gonna bring you this interface. Uh, you're gonna be joining with your computer audio. Uh, what I recommend doing is testing your speakers. So you click on test speakers. You have to be able to hear this ringtone. I can't because my speaker is not selected correctly. I need to select the output of my monitor, which is my Asus. Now you can start hearing it, yes. Then you need to select your microphone. Now this microphone, USB audio codec. Then this you is need to my... select your microphone. Now this there microphone, now USB audio codec. This. There it is. That's my microphone. Or you can use a different microphone that you plug in. So once you've confirmed that, now you can join. Then you click join. And now here, this is your interface. This is me who's talking. It shows you who's your recipients. Now you can invite. You can either do it through a URL or you can just send them an email. And then it gives you a password meeting right there. You copy the URL and you can paste this anywhere you want. I'm going to throw it into chat. This is the in chat messaging. There's the link. You can click on it and you can join. Everyone can see this. So that's kind of a few features. So I'm going to show you what this interface looks like and how you manage it. So obviously here from the top right, you can click it to get out of full screen. You can create, you can get into full screen by double clicking or just clicking this button here. On the left here, you've got your client connection is encrypted, which is really nice. No one can steal the audio or the video or anything. Uh, Zoom meeting information's right there. I'm not gonna click on that. If you wanna change your microphone after the fact, you can click right here. And this is where you're gonna be doing all of your settings and configuration. So um, if you just wanna set your microphone the same as the system, you've got a built-in microphone, you can select that. I do not, so I have to use uh, a USB microphone, which you can see right here that I'm speaking into. And then here's the audio. So if you've got dedicated speakers or whatnot, you can change it. I just have it selected to the uh, monitor that I've got. You can test here. You can then switch to phone audio if you have a phone that you're using, which is kind of weird. Um, you can leave computer audio and, and then you can drill into the audio settings. So here's uh, a lot more advanced features of the audio aspect, okay? So you can test your mic. You can see what mic is. There's the levels. You can adjust it here. Um, you can use the same audio device to do the reading tone. You can you know, deal with all these if you want. Uh, there's a couple of quick features you can click. Like if you press and hold space, you can mute yourself. Um, there's also a couple more aspects of this that I'll show you. There's screen sharing. So I can share my screen with all of my uh, audience, all the people, the members of the Zoom meeting. Uh, here are some of those features you can read. I'm not going to go out through them. Uh, you can, if you want, add a virtual background to the meeting. So when the next person um, speaks, you can either mirror your video or if you have a green screen like I have, it'll, uh, it'll enable the green screen feature and it'll key you out and it'll have the virtual background, which is kind of cool. You can record your video. 
and you can, you can tell where it's going to record. You can record your meeting and, and you can tell where it's going to go. Then you can see your statistics. Uh, and then there's some more shortcuts that I'm not going to go into. The main aspect and interface of this that you'll be utilizing is right here at the bottom left that you can see. Um, first, from the right to the left, you can do reactions if you're muted and someone says something or does something that you like. You, here is the toggle to record your screen, to record your meeting. Here's the in-chat that I showed you. You can text to everyone or you can text directly to one person. And right here is where notifications will sh show. This is where you can share your screen. You can go ahead and pull up all the different applications or windows that you have open to share. So if I just wanted to share specifically like, uh, I don't know, this project that I'm doing on Photoshop, you can click that and it'll only share that. Or you can just click where it shows here on the left, your screen itself, and it'll, it'll share that specifically. You can also click here, which I like to do, to share your computer sound. So if you're presenting like a PowerPoint and you've got music or you've got whatever, you can share your computer audio as well. Uh, more advanced here is what I like to do. So if you've got a second camera that you have a top-down down view, you can enable another camera. You can select a portion of the screen where you click here and you drag and drop where on the screen you want it to show to hide out whatever you don't. Uh, then you can do music or computer sound only. This is how I did our family's um, dance party for a birthday that we had. And you can see the video up top at the, um, uh, at the card above. And then you can share files if you want. You can drop, drag and drop files or you can share it from these different providers. So that's basically that as far as sharing your screen. Then you can manage your people that are uh, in here. Um, you can mute people if they're obnoxious. Um, and then you can toggle the video, which I haven't toggled yet. Um, where is the video that I can toggle? And then obviously you can share that I already showed you. So for some reason, oh, over here is where you start your video. So if I want, uh, I need to plug in a video camera. So I don't have a video camera technically plugged in because I'm already sharing a video camera that I'm using for this stream. And then once you're done, you can end the meeting right here where it says end meeting. You click end meeting and you can exit or all leave the meeting. And there you go. That's it. That's my first Zoom meeting. Now we're going to show you how to join a meeting. So basically, you can have a meeting code like I showed you earlier and or a link. You click here. You put the meeting ID or the personal link ID name and you click join and it'll have you join. To join a meeting, you just click the URL link that they've given you, or you have a personal meeting ID number. I'm going to add the personal ID number. I've added the personal ID number. It's going to go ahead and run that same downloaded plugin. And I'm going to join with my speaker and microphone. And there it is. I'm going to go ahead and show my video now. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, now okay, now it's working. Really, really loud. Really, really loud. All right. All right. Whoa, that's bad. Whoa, that's bad. Okay. Okay. No. <laughs> so now it's working, but it's really, really bad because I'm so close and I'm catching, catching all of the mics and whatnot. So there, so there it is. That's how you do it. I will, sh I will shift to this view so you can see it on the phone. This is what it looks like on the phone. There's both, There's both accounts, and so you can see. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. The grid view is really good. I'm going to go ahead and leave now so it doesn't echo. So that's the introduction. That's how you uh, run a Zoom meeting from your computer. There's a couple of elements here that are a little tricky. It downloads its own little widget or application after you've created your meeting, which is not the easiest to figure out. But once you get into it, it's pretty self-explanatory and pretty straightforward. I haven't hosted a meeting since we had that party with my family, but I don't think you really need to see exactly what a meeting looks like with someone on the other end. Uh, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Thanks so much for uh, checking out this content, guys. If you like it, please watch all the other videos that you see up above. Other than that, thank you so much for your support, and good luck during these trying times. Please stay safe. Consider the information that's out there regarding taking care of yourself and what's out on WHO and, and the C CVD website resources for taking care of yourself during this pandemic. And have fun speaking with your loved ones. I have been. Anyway, thanks for liking, thanks for sharing, thanks for subscribing. We'll see you later.